All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. At least I've been waiting for. We are finally done with that 110 inventory box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, which this is part six of a series, so kind of jumped in at a weird time. But anyway, I'm Charles. I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife. Um, it's called the Deegans because uh, that's our name. So links to it will be below. Um, so you can click on those links, well, link, and you can uh, see our stuff, including this stuff. So as I said in the past, whoops, shift my camera there. <laughs> As I said in the past six, five videos, um, we got a 110 item box. It weighed 61 pounds and it, um, yeah, it took a long time to shoot and it's taken a long time to get through all this inventory, but this is the last part. Now these are mostly going to be the whites because I tend to, um, there we go. <laughs> I'm bumping my stand with my feet here. I tend to shoot the whites last because I got to put up the black background, um, which my wife just told me today that I should probably stop using the black background. She doesn't like how it looks. Um, I think she's gonna, I think she's gonna change her mind on that probably a couple times before we settle on. I just use the black background and uh, do what I've been doing because I'm pretty good at what I do. Anyway, these are going to be mostly whites. There are, there is, I think, one item in here that's not a light color because it just kind of hid under everything. Um, so, <coughs> oh boy. Without further ado, we have our first piece. It is a, it is not showing up. Oh, there we go. We the Free. Now, I think this is a Free People brand. Um, it's a small, petite and this is a kind of a, a white, off-white sweater with um, these kind of reverse, like the stitching on the outside. Um, I'm sure there's a term for that. Um, I don't know what it is, but, and I'm assuming that the S&P means that it's a small or a petite. Um, but I really can't tell because it's actually looks a lot larger than a small petite but um it's probably meant to be worn over some other clothing so you'd want to have it be a little bit larger just for that all right up next we have a another sweater this one is a Pedalton. it is a small and like a lot of the Pedalton stuff we get, this one is supposed to be 100% virgin wool. Now, I always forget to look that up, but I think that believes that it is the wool from the first time they shaved the sheep. Or the llama or the goat, whatever they get the wool from. Um, it probably is sheep. And it doesn't say sheep wool. Could be, could be any animal that produces wool. Anyway, I think that's what it means. I will look it up eventually. <laughs> All right, up next we have <coughs> a bar three. And this is a tank top with a lot of metal beads. This is actually really um, heavy considering that it's um, such a, um, light piece. I mean, it's even, it's even like see-through. You can see my nose there. Um, but with all these beads and especially at the bottom here, it's, it weighs quite a bit. Um, so I think we had someone look at this piece, but the measurements didn't come back, uh, the way they wanted them. So we still got it. And 
it's always nice to have a piece that has interest in it right away. Okay, up next we have a free people. Um, is this a <coughs> extra small slash small? And this is a very long sleeve shirt. Um, that is a really long sleeve. Um, so a regular shirt with extra long sleeves. I guess those are kind of meant to be... Um, do they have thumb holes? They might have thumb holes. <coughs> I didn't bring any water down here. Uh, they might be thumb holes, or maybe they're meant to be rolled up, or maybe... Eh, probably how they... Yeah, they're probably roll up. Anyway, it's a light shirt with long sleeves. You know, it's really hard to think of something unique to say about every single piece of clothing. All right, up next we have a... Where's the tag on this one? <coughs> I cannot find the tag on this. Um, uh-oh. Well, shoot. Let's just, uh... Oh, there it is. <laughs> right here. Up next, we have a Top Shop. This is a U.S. size 8. Um, <coughs> and this is a, just a light flower. Uh, yeah, those are flowers. Light flowery dress. So, um... V-neck, um, ties in the back, yep. Spent too much time looking through the tag, don't have enough time to look at that some more. Okay, up next we have a pair of pants. These are Tale Soe. They are a small, these are another flower pattern. Um, pair of white pants with flowers on them and they do have pockets um yeah i don't know if that's obvious that they have pockets uh so i probably should have pointed that out when i was shooting them but i don't think that's going to be an issue because there's already someone asking about those all right up next we have another pair of pants these are a current air small they are new with tags Boom. and these are just a pair of just a nice pair of i guess i guess you'd call them khakis they don't feel like khakis so i don't know now one thing i did notice about these when i was shooting them is the this um inner button um is really loose uh so it looks like it's uh, yeah, it looks like it might have come off and then been put back on, but um, it is loose, so that was one thing I had to be careful about when I was shooting it. Uh, but this does include, this does have hooks, buttons, other than that, no real flaws. And no real flaws really should be expected from something new of tags. And it also includes a belt. So... Okay, we will just grab this one now. We have a free people, extra small. Um, and this is a blue, dark blue tank top. Now, as I'm noticing on uh, a couple of free people things I've shot recently, this has kind of the um, stitching on the outside. And maybe that's, uh, well, not really a stitching on the outside. I don't know what you'd, you'd call, like, having the seams on the outside. Um, I guess it makes it look more boho, more homemade. Um, definitely in. I mean, it's free people. Free people does very well on Poshmark, so always happy to see that. Especially in a such a large box. Um, okay. Up next, we have a 
pair of very jade pants. They are very jade. They are new with tags. And they're a pair of white pants um, with a drawstring um, and pockets. Hmm. You know, a lot of these loose fitting pants, the they they fit really nice around the waist of the mannequin, but they don't quite look as oh they don't quite look um, as nice as some of the like tight jeans or the leggings um, just because the just because I guess it's just because of the way the mannequin's posed um, our mannequin doesn't um, bend at all so it's just kind of got the one one leg kind of stepping forward and that's a really great pose for if you have some tight something tight on but when it's loose it kind of everything hangs so it doesn't look as great but still still decent okay and our last item is a bar three this is a small um there we go and this is another pair of um another pair of pants although i guess probably shorts because those are pretty short so um yeah, I think they're a little bit too long to be, well, no, maybe just regular shorts. Anyway, um, one unique thing I didn't notice about these is that they have a zipper on the side, which I didn't really understand because they got an elastic waist that has some stretch to it. Um, so I wouldn't see why you would need to have the zipper, but I guess maybe, maybe I don't understand pants. You know, I've only been wearing them for like, I don't know, 30 some odd years. Hmm, 34 years? Did I wear pants when I was two? How? I don't know how much I wore pants as a baby um, because I don't have memories going back that far. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video and my ramblings about pants, please be sure to click like, share, subscribe. Um, all those buttons are below and uh, leave a comment while you're down there. Um, can get a discussion started about pants and uh, some of the wonderful things that they do. All right, until next time, I've been Charles. I'm happy to be through uh, this box. A lot of good items and uh welcome back. So I was about to sign off and then I remembered that was only 108 items because there were two items from this particular um, part of the box that are missing. Um, so one was a, um, one was a, what was it? An express shirt that we ended up giving away in our giveaway um, that we did. Um, so we did, we did our normal contest where we take and we buy, um, $100 worth of inventory from someone and then we did another we did another contest where we gave away um, we actually gave away two uh, mystery boxes and um, the express shirt ended up uh, going in one of those and the other was this piece right here um, I believe this was J Crew, and it sold so that is the last piece of inventory in this box now, this box has actually had a lot of things like this that sold. Um, I can get that to go away. Um, so it's been a pretty good box. Um, I think we will do another large box like this. Um, I hope it's not really soon because this was a slog to get through. It just um, a lot of shooting and a lot of, just a lot of, a lot of work. Uh, but it did seem to all work out. Um, so. I'm overall very happy with this box. All right, now, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you. <laughs>